Hello 108 students, Mr. McHugh back here with you. Uh, I'm working on example 6 on section 2.3 and uh, this is our last page of class notes for this section. We've got two examples to work on here. Um, example 6, I, I like this problem because it's an investment problem and it deals with how you can make money. And simple interest is calculated by the following formula. Uh, you take the principal, the amount of money that you're going to invest in dollars and you multiply that by the rate that the bank will pay you. Think of certificates of deposits from the bank. That's uh, one of the safest ways to start off investing. Um, that's in like in a percent, but you're going to put it in decimal. So that's the rate. And it's kind of like you take your money, how much will they pay you the rate on, and T is in time, and that's in years. Okay, so I stands for the interest earned. So that's what you're going to work with. So that, that is your formula out of your toolbox now. The interest that you earn, simple interest, is calculated by taking the principal, multiplied by the rate uh, that the bank will pay you, multiplied by how long in years that, that you, you hold a certificate for. So the idea here is the bank will take your money, you give them $1,000, and they maybe pay you, it's not too much now, 1% or 2% and uh, you hold it over for a year then um, they'll give you a hundred bucks on a one percent okay so uh, the question here gets a little tough here when you look at example six out of the book because a person has gotten forty thousand dollars to invest and you know, let's say they got some inheritance that's a pretty good chunk of change there and they're looking at you know pretend it's a Wells Fargo and a Bank of America and, and there's a four percent account they could invest their money in they're gonna put some in there and the rest they're gonna put into the six percent what what's going on here is you gotta realize that you've got a relationship in here they're gonna put X amount of money into the four percent and the rest of it's going in there so keep that in mind now the total amount of annual income was earned was two thousand and forty dollars that's that is the I the grand total I so keep that in mind how much to invest in each account okay so this starts off um, it takes just a little bit to sort this out so what I did was I let X equal the amount of money invested at the four percent okay now you let, that is the how much you're gonna put in here now then the hard part now is how much would you invest in at the six percent account and so what I did over here was, here's X is how much you're going to put in. You don't know what it is, but you've got a total of $40,000 grand to put in. So if you say X plus a question mark, now this is a little unconventional algebra work, but if I told you to isolate the X, the question mark, excuse me, what would you do to isolate it? You would subtract X on both sides. Thus, the relationship of how much to invest in the 6% is represented by the 40000 minus how much you put into the 4%. So here's a real quick example. If I turn around there and said, hey, I got $40,000, I think I'll put $10,000 into 4%. How much is left to put into 6%? Well, you automatically would take 40000 minus 10000 and you'd say 30000 without thinking about it. So that, that's the relationship that you want to remember is to how much you're investing. Okay, so now I go down to step three down here, your strategy equation. So think about this. The money that you're going to, money from the 4% account that you earn, the I, plus the money from the 6% that you're going to earn, the interest earned, has to equal $2,040. That's your strategy equation. Now, interest earned is the principal times the rate times the time. Now, in this problem, they tell you that it's for one year. The rate is 4%. The rate for the second one is 6%. Notice I used 0 0.06 and 0 0.04. You convert them. Um, you take 4 and you convert it over. You move it over two decimal places when you drop the percent. So you make sure equations, algebra equations, you always use percents. Excuse me, if you have percents, you convert them to decimal. Okay, so X is the amount that we're going to put in at 4%. How much are we going to invest in at the 6%? 40,000 minus X that came from up here. Now you multiply that times the 6%, which is represented by 0.06, and now we've got an algebra equation. Strategy, um, beginning of the equation, and now maybe you clean it up. One times anything doesn't affect it, so you might write 0.04X. Switch these around, we always put the coefficient in front of the X. Now you've got 
1 times 0.06, that doesn't change anything, and now you're going to take the distributive property and multiply and get 0.06x, and 0.06 times 40,000 turns into 2,400. Okay, now that this 2,040 comes from how much we were told in the problem that you would earn total in interest. Earned. Okay, so I got that, and I have 0.04x minus 0.06x combines into negative 0.02, so we came like this. Then we drop the 2400 down equals 2040. Remember that's 0.02x. Subtract 24 from both sides. Remember you want to isolate the x term. You're left with 0.02x equals 360. Divide by 0.02 on both sides. I think I showed that on the next line here. And voila, your answer is $18,000. But what was that now? Remember. Step five is you got to make sure you answer the uh, answer the question correctly. This represented how much you put in at the four percent. So now what you got to do is take forty thousand that was your total you had minus eighteen thousand, and boom, you now know that twenty two thousand is what you put into the six percent. So those are your two answers. Again, make sure you put them into my math lab the correct way. Okay, uh, I'm going to stop here and do one more. I noticed I'm uh, well, you know what? I got time. I'm sorry. Take it back. Um, Example seven are the mixture problems. Um, I'll talk here and I'll get this started. Um, I ran out of room on here. Usually in class I start this out and I work it out, but uh, let's go ahead and, and, and get this going. So here's the story. You have a mixture problem. You, I always class. I like to have everybody think about um, Dexter from um, Dexter's Laboratory, the cartoon, and he has a sister, a big sister named Dee Dee, Dee Dee, that drives him crazy, and he's got his laboratory down the basement and he needs to make a mixture problem and he's got a, a an acid situation here an acid mixture and he's told in the first beaker is a 40 percent solution plus the second beaker has got 70 percent solution and you got to add them together and make a mixture and I like to use diagrams here to help get a handle on what I'm doing here's your first beaker here's your second beaker here's the mixture Notice the lines, here's 40%. Maybe if I would draw this, I'd put it up a little higher. This is how much percentage of acid you've got. So this is the acid concentration, 40%, 70%. And they want it to be a 50% mix. So we are given in this problem, eight L stands for liters. There's eight liters given here. We want to know how much of the 70%. So we'll let X represent how many liters of the 70% solution. Okay. Now, it takes a lot of time to set this problem up here to make sure you feel comfortable. But what we've got here is, what's the concentration? How much? What's the amount of acid? So the concentration of acid would be how many liters times the percent. So instead of saying forty percent, we got to use decimal. So move it over two places. Over here, 70% is represented by 0.7. How many liters of the, the second beaker? That's what we need to find. And what's the relationship of the mixture? H how many liters are we going to have? 8 liters plus however how many we put into the second one. So 8 plus X is represented. And 50% is represented by 0.5. OK, so now we finally have got ourselves an equation that we can work with here. Um, couple ways you can handle this. Uh, in this this class, and this is an example, I left the decimals. You could turn around and multiply everything by 10%, which would be 100, uh, by, by factor of 10, excuse me, factor of 10 to move the decimal. In this example here, I, I worked them out. I took 8 times 0.4, got 3.2, 0.7x, and I took 0.5 times 8 and got 4, and 0.5 times x and got 0.5x. Um, I don't know, I just went this way on it. Uh, usually you get rid of the decimals, but I guess I was willing to go ahead and give us a shot. So now I look at this and I go, can I combine anything? And I look at the x terms, I got 0 0.5, 0 0.7, move the smaller term over by minusing 0.5x. And that gives me 0.2x. Here's 4 minus 3.2. What did I do? I did what I call the two for one special. I knew that when I moved the 0.5x over to the left, 
that the constant has to go over to the right so I subtracted 0.32 on both sides combine your columns here's your 0 here's 0.2x here's 4 minus 3.2 is 0.8 and now the last step would be to divide both sides by 0.2 to isolate the variable and you get x equals 4 liters of the 70 percent solution okay um, yeah, you could you could go that way, or you could multiply by by 10% if you wanted to to get to to work it out. Um, in this case, it doesn't matter which way you want to work it. Okay, um, Ms. McHugh, signing off here for now. We have finished section 2.3, so I'll be back to start not 2.4. We we're going to skip that. We're going to go to 2.5. Okay, I'll see you there.